Stitch Sprouts is proud to present Technique Tuesday, your weekly source of knitting and crochet tips and tricks. So we are going to learn how to do a tubular cast on. There's going to be some information down in the notes if you need to refer to it, so check those out. Um, first up, we have our supplies. We do need scissors for a tubular cast on. I like little tiny pointy ones for what we have to do here. We need whatever needles we're going to be making our project with. This is for our sock knit along and the link for the sock knit along is in the notes. Um, so if you're doing that, you want to make sure you have your sock needles. I have something slightly bigger just so you can actually see what I'm doing here. We've got our working yarn, which is the cream, and then we've got some contrast or waste yarn that's already been worked up here and it's this bright plum color. The important thing is to make sure that your contrast yarn is a totally different color than your working yarn. And the reason for that is when we do a tubular cast on, we're actually going to be picking up these little pearl bumps from the back. So we want to be able, we can see them very clearly. We know exactly what we're going for here. So as you can see, I'm working flat. A tubular cast on starts off flat and you want to take the total number of stitches that you want to have, divide it in half. Yes, I know it's math. It'll be in the notes. Divide that in half and add one. I want 32 stitches on the needles after I finish this, so I have 16 plus one, which is 17. So we've cast on 17 stitches. I've worked eight rows in my waist yarn. You don't have to work eight rows if you want to. You can work six or four, probably even get away with two. But you need to at least have a number of rows that you can see these clearly on the back. And so I would say at least four or six. And you need to do an even number of rows so you're ready to do a right side row with this working yarn. So I've done eight rows of waist yarn. Then I've done five rows of the working yarn. The working yarn, we're ready to work a wrong side row and that's the way that we're ready to start the tubular part of this and get this into a cast on. We're gonna be doing a knit two, purl two rib on our socks, so we're gonna do this to set up a knit two, purl two rib. So the very first stitch on my needle, I'm gonna purl, because it's facing me to purl, and then I'm gonna pick up the very first purl bump. Now you'll notice that the very first purl bump, I kinda of have to bend the edge back to get, I'm gonna take my left hand needle tip and I'm gonna go down from the top into that stitch. And then I wanna keep that stitch as loose and open as possible. So I'm actually gonna knit it through the back loop, which kind of is like backwards, but that's what works when you do it this way. So I'm through the back loop and then I'm gonna do it again because I'm doing a knit two, purl two. So this is a knit two. So I've knit one. I'm gonna use my left hand needle tip to grab the next bump knit it through the back loop to keep it nice and open. And then I'm gonna purl two. Okay. And you can also do this as a knit one, purl one. You would just alternate, but we're doing the knit two, purl two. So we've purled two. So we're gonna go in and grab the next one. And it's getting a little bit tighter as we stretch it. Grab that, knit it through the back loop. Grab the next one knit it through the back loop, and then purl two. And we're gonna do that all the way down the row to the very end. So we're just grabbing these, knitting them through the back loop, and then purl two. So when you get to the end, you're almost to the end here, and I'm going to do these last two. They get a little bit tight at the end. And then this very last one is probably the trickiest one that you have to do. We're gonna grab that very last one, and then we're gonna end with purl two. And then what I like to do before I do my snip snip is I like to go ahead and work a totally right side row. So you're gonna have something that looks like this, and just to get it all set, I'm just gonna go ahead and work to the end in my knit two, purl two rib. And then when I get to the end of this row, I'm ready to join it in the round, but I'm not gonna do that until, of course, I've snipped off my waist yarn or my extra little fabric down here. So, 
So we've worked across the right side row. We've done knit two, purl two, all the way to that last stitch, and it's a knit. And what I like to do is pull my needles through if you're using circulars, just so that nothing's gonna fall off. If you're using like DPMs for this, kind of push things to the middle so there's not a mistake. And then what we need to do is we need to get rid of this purple fabric here. So this is why I like my little pointy scissors, and I'm gonna kind of lift this up so you can see. See how the purple is attached here? I wanna start and just start snipping there. And once you snip one, it's kind of really easy to see. It's hard to do this and hold it for the camera too. Kind of easy to see where else you need to snip. And we're gonna snip all the way around here and then come over here and do a little snip snip. And we're gonna get rid of all of this purple fabric. So, And then all you have to do once you get it mostly out, you just pull these out. So these are gonna come out super duper easy. And then once you're finished, you end up, this is the one that I did earlier, which is 32 stitches. And you end up with this super clean edge and it's called the tubular because it looks like a tube. It looks like you almost knitted it over a tube. It's a perfect edge and it's super crazy stretchy for the ribbing. And we're all set up and ready to go on our Knit 2 Pearl 2 ribbing with our stretchy tubular cast on. Thank you for joining us for this Technique Tuesday. If you have any questions about this video or if you want to suggest other techniques for us to demo, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date with everything Stitch Sprouts.